Hello, my name is Cayman, and in this video I will show how to build a fully automatic carrot and potato farm. Now, let's get to it. Oh yeah, and by the way, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. Now, let me show you how this farm works. These two farmer villagers will pick up all of these carrots and potatoes. And once their inventory is full, they will go in the middle in here and try to feed this guy well, his villager in here. But instead of feeding it, all the potatoes and carrots will go inside these hopper minecarts. And down in here. Inside these chests. Yeah, and there we go. There we got some potatoes. Here they come. Oh man. What an amazing farm. Once you have built this, it'll take a couple of months days before all of these crops have grown. And once that happens, this farm will be running non-stop. This farm is a follow-up to my older carrot and potato farm. In this version I simplified it quite a lot and made it work a lot more better. But anyways, here are the items you need for the build. 64 building blocks, you can use any building block you want to, for example planks or cobblestone. 5 slabs, 160 dirt blocks, 2 composters, 90 fences, 4 chests, and two trap doors, 16 torches, and two jackal lanterns. You can also use glowstone or shroom lights, two power trails, two minecarts with a hopper, and two hoppers. 80 carrots and 80 potatoes. You can also just use potatoes or only carrots, but I like to use both in this design. Four stacks of glass blocks, two buckets of fodder, hoe, and three villagers. First, let's take out our building blocks and go two blocks up and then place a slab in here. Villager will stand on top of this slab. Then here, both sides, chest. Let's place a chest and a chest. And then a hopper crouch and likely the chest, like so. Then let's go in here. For now, let's place these blocks in here. Let's go all the way up like that, and then take out some power trails, crowds, and place them in here. Place the rails sideways like this, otherwise the villagers might actually bump this minecart away. Then just place a minecart in here, and in here. Now let's go a couple more blocks up, you can also take out some glass if you'd like to, and place the glass on the sides, just so you can see inside, inside in here, like so. There's some more blocks. And in here we have to place some trap doors. We got the trap doors and place them up on there. And now thanks to this trap door, the villagers cannot escape, which is quite nice. Now just let's take some dirt blocks and go four blocks on this side. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Then place a temporary block in the middle. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Then just connect these up like so. Quite simple, I gotta say. Quite simple. And then the last side. Now take out some building blocks and surround this like so. Just so we can place some fences on top of these blocks. Alright. Now, go to the middle, take out a bucket of water and some slabs. Break this block and place a slab below in here. Then a water bucket on top. Awesome. Now you can take out your fences and start placing them down on the sides like so. Then take out a composter and a hoe. And let's place the composter on top first, like so. And then turn this dirt in the farmland with your hoe. Now take out a jack-o'-lantern and some torches. And let's place a jack-o'-lantern or glowstone or shroom light on top of this composter. Nice. The torches go in here, in here, and then we can see the middle from here and place a torch, middle, torch, and the same thing on the last side. Awesome. Now take out the potatoes or carrots and plant them down. All the way around the farmland. Don't eat the, po don't eat the potatoes. 
My hair if the new plant potatoes, you, you might actually eat them, so yeah, that's like, 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 come on, come on, look at this. No, no. Hey, you might actually just want to build a roof on top of this farmland. Because if a thunderstorm approaches and a lightning hits the villager, it will turn into a witch. And yeah, that's no good. That's not good at all. Let's make a roof, go two blocks up, hit some fences on the sides, and then just place some glass on top. Simple as that. You can also use like slabs or any building block basically you want to, but I just like to use glass because it's, it looks quite nice in my opinion. Then just fill this up all the way so your villagers are safe from weather. Now the last thing we have to do is to get a villager inside. For me, because I'm creative, I can just use a villager spawnic. Like so. Now he is a farmer. You will have to get yourself a railway up and just push the villagers up here inside a minecart. Simple as that again. Quite simple. Now let's place the villager, second villager inside in here. Roof on top and let's also place some glass in here. And now the farm is basically done, except we have to go down here. Break this block and place a slab in here, so you can open the chest. Yes, you can also do the same thing in here. And now, it's a waiting game. Waiting game for those potatoes to grow. And while waiting for that, let's build the other side. But if you don't want to do that, no worries, the farm can now produce potatoes quite nicely. So no worries, if you don't need carrots, just stop here. Stop watching, leave a comment down and like this video. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to do the other side, it's super simple. You just copy this side on this side. So yeah, let's do it. Take out some dirt and go again. One, two, three, four. Temporary block. One, two, three, four. Same thing in here and in here. Now take out your building blocks, go around, fences, then the water and a slab. Turn the dirt into farmland. Also place down the composter. Not that many, just, just one composter. And now on this side you can plant carrots or you can also plant potatoes. It's whatever you need. Let me just place here or plant down some carrots. So I like to grow both. Awesome. Then it's check lantern we got some torches, place them here, here, in here, and in here, and yeah, also in here. Then the roof on top, And there we go. Now the last thing we have to do is to get the last villager inside, the last former villager. And let's just place this in here and see if he... Yeah, a former villager is in action. And you know what guys? The farm is done. It might take some time before you can see any carrots or potatoes inside his chest. Because well, his crops had to grow first. And once they have grown, this guy has to pick them up. Same thing on his side. You can speed up this process by using some bone meal. Just bone meal some of these potatoes. But yeah, it's totally up to you. But anyways, I want to thank you for watching. And yeah, if you found this tutorial useful, please hit the like button. I mean for real. Hit the like button. And consider subscribing. Or else. Oh. Never mind. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm,